Hey, this is Craig at Willie Farms here today. What we're going to do is show you how we build our swarm traps. And what we do is take these out in the spring, about the last part of March, first part of April, hang them in a tree, different locations, and try to attract swarms of bees to go into our hives. And it has worked for us in the past with uh, quite a bit of success, and it's a good way to get free bees, and it's a lot of fun. So we're going to show you how we do it. Okay, what we're gonna start with is our standard 10 frame deep height. If you use eight frames on your property, then use the eight frames, it'll work the same way. So we've got our deep body hive. We're gonna have a top on it. You can use a standard top. We've got a metal lid that we made for this because it's a little bit lighter. What we're gonna do is build a base for this. And we're gonna show you how to do that. And that's what makes this into a swarm trap. We will be putting these up into trees in the effort to catch feral bees or swarming bees, uh, try to attract them into this hive. What we'll do is fill this box up with frames that they can build on. Wax foundation, plastic, wax coated, either one will work. If we can, we're gonna put a couple of frames in here of older bee wax. That seems to attract them. And some lemongrass oil, very important. So what we're gonna do is build the base for this, show you how to do it, attach it to this, and show you basically how this is gonna work. The base, we're gonna build the base the same size as the hive body, 19 and 7 eighths. 16 and 1 quarter. So that's gonna be the size of the base for this to make this into a swarm trap. So let's do that. So we're going to take our board, and when you do this, if you do it 19 and 7 eighths, the other side is going to be uh, roughly an inch and a half less than the 16 and a quarter. So. Nineteen and seven eighths. Now measure your box. Make sure it's exactly the same. Different manufacturers may have a little bit different size on. If you want to get it as close as you can, it does not have to be perfect at all. So now we've got our two pieces, 19 and 7 eighths. Now we're gonna do the ends, which will be 16 and a quarter less an inch and a half because this is three quarters of an inch thick. So that measurement will be 14 and three quarters. And we're gonna cut two pieces for that, one for each end. And another 14 and three quarter. Okay, so that's roughly gonna be our box there. Remember when, which ones you wanted for the outside. Because if you don't, you're gonna have too small of a box. So this is the way they're going to light up. The smaller side is going on the inside. The 19 and 7 eighths is going on the outside. And we're just going to use some screws and fasten that together. Started. And 
if you wanted to, you take the end of your board, line it up with that edge, mark, and you know where those screws are supposed to go. It goes in the center of that space. We're going to make sure they're flush here. Snug it up. You really don't want to have any kind of gaps in between there. The only way you want into that hive is that single hole we're going to drill in the front. Because when you bring those bees down, and you'll do it at night, you don't want them crawling out some hole that you don't know about and either getting away or getting you. All right. One more piece to add on here. Goes on the outside. Restarted and line it up as close as you can get. It. Get in flush with this edge, flush with this top. Now I'm just using some wood that's was laying around in the barn. You can buy it rather inexpensively at your local lumber yard. And again, it's about a one by three. It's gonna measure about two and a half inches wide. You could have it a little bit smaller, but you don't want a lot smaller. And you could have it a little deeper. You could use a one by four, which bring it down to three and a half, but it's really not necessary. And it's a little more expensive, unless you just have it laying around, then go ahead and use it. The next thing we want to do is drill a hole through the front, through the narrow side up here. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but let's try to get it somewhere close to the center. So overall, 16 and a quarter. So we're looking at eight and an eighth for the center. So right in there, it's not going to be perfect. We don't want it to be perfect. We don't care. The bees will not care. The bees probably won't care, but I don't want to get a splinter. Now the next thing we'll do is we're going to take a nail, in this case a roofing nail, and we're going to stick it right down the center here. Now the reason we do that is to keep birds from going in here and trying to build a nest or get in there and picking out the comb. So we'll drill a small hole in there to keep from splitting the wood and then tap this down in there. All right, we're gonna drill our hole right here in the center, just a starter hole. I'm just gonna basically trace this out. Uh, a lot of times I'll use a quarter inch piece of plywood if I've got it. But right now, this is what I've got on hand. And we're going to use these edges as square. We can use that, or I think what we're going to do is use the B box itself because I know that is square. I'll line the square edges up. Mark the remaining two edges.
plenty. And again, get it snug, you don't want any gaps. Right there on the corners of those, and one in the center. The narrower ones, put one in the center there, and you're done. Let's put the bottom on. All right. So, there's the bottom portion of our swarm trap. And I'm not seeing any gaps big enough for a bee to get out of. A bee needs at least three-eighths of an inch to get through there to work. Uh, can get through maybe a little bit smaller area, but three-eighths of an inch is what they call bee space. So now, let's see how the top fits on here. So here's the way I fasten these on there. Makes it easy to put them together. Makes it easy to uh, take apart when you're bringing the new swarm out to the bee yard. All right, now we're gonna fasten this on. So we're using a flat piece of metal, two holes in it. You can buy these at the hardware store, uh, a couple of bucks. Comes with the screws and everything. Put one on the bottom, one hole at the top where we'll hold that together. And we'll put two on each side. We're not gonna worry about the ends and that will hold it together when you finally do catch a swarm and it won't take you too long. All you gotta do is take out the top screw off this one, set it on a regular high base and you're good to go. Put this on another box Reset your swarm trap. All right, let's fasten this together. Hey, I just want to thank Harold. He's the one that showed us how to catch bees like this. And he catches 27 to 30 hives or more every year. And I learned this from our local bee association. So find you a, a, your local bee association because there will be a lot of tips in there that you cannot find in any book. Thank you, Harold. All right, we've got all four of those in. So now we've got to have a way to hang this in the tree. Uh, what we'll do is use a metal wire make two loops, one on each side. That way we can hang a rope into that and hoist it into the tree. We go back to our two inch screw. We're gonna fasten this to our base. Okay, my audio was turned off on this section. What we were doing is wrapping the wire around that screw about three or four times. We would tighten that screw up to hold it. We would loop that around and then tie it to the other side. Just give us a loop on each side of the box. And then we can tie a rope on there, hoist it up into the tree, and that will hold it. Okay, this is where I loop it around to the other side. And again, put a screw in there. Twist that around the screw about three or four times and then tighten that screw down. It's about a 16, 14 or 16 gauge galvanized wire that I'm using. And that holds very well. And these swarm boxes shouldn't weigh that much. It should be the weight of the box and the weight of the bees and just a little bit of comb because you do not want to leave this in the tree too long. Uh, they will start to build up, they will start to bring nectar and honey in, and that box, if you leave that up there for a month or two, that box could weigh 50, 60 pounds at least. And remember, count your blessings every day, and I believe you will find that you are blessed well beyond measure. I know that I am. God bless.